My definition of faith, what, what's the quote that said, uh, faith, the opposite of faith isn't belief, the opposite of faith is sight, right? And so it's being able to um, go all in on that which you cannot see. When we say like, unless you're winning in all four areas, like that's, like that's where fulfillment comes from. But there's this thing that happens before that. <laughs> To be able to be winning in your relationships with your spouse, significant other, friends, family, to be able to be winning with your body, to be able to be winning with your mind, to be able to be winning in your business, truly winning, is there has to be that relationship with God. It's like every time I have a conversation with somebody else about God, my relationship with God gets better, which obviously makes sense, but people don't look at it like that. People don't look at a relationship with God just as they would a relationship with your wife or a relationship with your friend. Like if you're not talking to your friend, if you're never hanging around your friend, if you're never a, like that relationship's going to fall, it's going to fail. Like it's just a relationship. And like, that's why I'm so big on, you know, people want to talk about religion and, and it's not, a, it's not religion, it's just a relationship. And the way my relationship grows is by number one, talking to God, but then talking to other people about him. And every single time I do that, man, it's just like, it grows exponentially to where now it's like all I want to talk about. And, and I think that that in and of itself has been strengthening my faith. It's just been, as I've been talking about it more and it's being you know, more at the forefront of my mind and forefront of uh, a lot of my conversations, it's been strengthened and being able to really have some awesome, deep conversations with people about faith um, and maybe lack of faith and how to strengthen your faith has strengthened mine. And I just, I truly believe that as a Christian, we are to be God's way of showing off. Where so much, so much of the world wants you to believe that Christians should be this, um, like not, to say materialistic is not the right word, but that that income and that all these things like those, those shouldn't matter, that we should somehow be just like living on the streets, like serving everyone 24 seven. But I just feel like we should be God's way of, of showing what's possible. And I don't think that's a popular, um, you know, way to look at it, but I, it's just the way I believe. And I think, you know, with my business partners and our business that we have here in the insurance industry, we set these gigantic audacious goals, just like you have, so that when we accomplish them, people will know that it was so far beyond our capability that God's hand had to be in it. That the only way we possibly could have done these things we've already done and will do is if God was instrumental throughout that process. And it may be like you said, it came in at the very last second and these things just happened. Or it may be all along the way these things start to align but that it was beyond you. It was bigger than you. It was bigger than your team. And it was, it was proof and was evidence of the power of God. Living life in a way that the only way this could have happened is that if God's hand was in it. That that's the only way that you could take somebody from being completely broke and, and depressed four years ago to where I am now is, is because God's hand was in it.